हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दी टी वी एम एस एंड वाइवा स्किवल वाइवा एंड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन टूडे वट आर दी डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्शन इन द डी बी एम एस सो वी कैन टॉक हेयर अबाउट द थ्री लेवल आर्किटेक्चर विथ विच टेल्स द थ्री डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ दी डी बी एम एस फिजिकल लेवल लॉजिकल लेवल एंड व्यू लेवल सो देर आर थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ दी डेटा एब्सट्रैक्शन physical level is the lowest level of abstractor and describes how the data is stored into the secondary storage at the logical level it is the next level of the abstraction after the physical level and it determines what data is stored in the database and what is the relationship between the data points and the last is the view level uh, which is the highest level of the abstraction and describes only a part of the entire database so this describes how the uh, result will look and how the uh, responses of the query will be displayed and it interacts with the user so the next question what is an entity relationship model this is er model it is a diagrammatic representation to the database design where you represent real world objects as entities and uh, mention relationships between them so this approach helps the team of the dba to understand the scheme easily so this is uh, the er uh, diagram uh, er model where we represent all the objects in the forms of entities and uh, these entities are connected together with the help of the relationships uh, we also mention the attributes of the entities what do you understand by the term entity entity type and entity set in dbms so let's talk about entity it is an uh, it's a basically a real world object having some attributes uh, and some characteristics the entity type is nothing but a collection of entities having the same attributes an entity set is the collection of all the entities of a particular entity type in a database so uh, these are the three entity entity type and entity sets now what are the relationships and uh, mention different types of relationships in the dbms so relationship basically it is a scenario where two entities are related to each other and uh, these uh, tables may be connected with the help of the foreign key and uh, the one table will contain a primary key and the other table will contain the foreign key connecting to the column primary key column of the other table now the different type of uh, relationships can be considered like we have seen the cardinality so these are also called as cardinalities one to one cardinality one to many one many to many and self referencing relationship so uh, one to one relationship where uh, a single row in a table is related to a single row in table b one to many means when a single row in table a is related to many rows in table b many to many means whenever the many rows in table a can be related to many rows in table b and self referencing means whenever a record in a table is related to the same table itself to the other records of the same table itself the next question is concurrency control we already had a talk on this uh, concurrency control uh, where which means uh, we are uh, we need to manage the simultaneous transactions together that is concurrency control <coughs> we also disc we had discussed the atom uh, atomicity that is the acid properties of the transaction that stands for the atomicity consistency isolate isolation and durability so atomicity means whenever the transaction is either a complete executed or none at all consistency means after the uh, commencement of a transaction the database has to be in the consistent state uh, the isolation has the main goal that at the time of concurrency or simultaneous execution of the uh, transaction none two transactions uh, interfere with each other and each transaction should be executed in the isolation manner it should not interfere any other transaction and durability means that the transaction uh, if the transaction is committed then whatever the changes are made by the transaction that should be permanent into the database next is the what we mean by the normalization and what are the different types of normalization so the process of organizing data to avoid any duplication and redundancy is known as the normalization so we have seen uh, many types of the normalization starting from 1nf 2nf 3nf 
फोर एन एफ बी सी एन एफ एंड मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ नॉर्मलाइजेशन आर देयर सो वन एन एफ वेयर देर इज नो मल्टी सेल वैल्यूज मल्टी वैल्यूड सेल्स इन टू द टेबल इन दी सेकेंड एन एफ वेयर एवर वी डू नॉट सपोर्ट दी डिपेंडेंसी सिमिलरली वी कैन टॉक अबाउट दी थ्री एन एफ ऑल्सो different types of keys in database so let's talk about some keys into the database so we will talk about keys into the next lecture thank you so much